All right, now we're gonna connect this keyboard to our MacBook. Um, they gave us a cable. This is gonna be used for charging it because this MacBook, well, you can connect it later too, but it's easiest to do this with Bluetooth. Um, but if we need to charge this, we'll use the cable. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is turn the keyboard on. So this is gonna be switched over to, it's gonna start off switched over to the USB, but we're gonna slide it over to Bluetooth. And then on the side here, we're gonna turn this on. Okay, and then on your MacBook, you're gonna open up Bluetooth settings. There's a way you can go to the settings menu, but the fastest way is by clicking this search button and this window will pop up and you just type in Bluetooth and we're going to system preferences. So double click that, here we go. Okay, so now it's searching for the device, there we go. There's our keyboard, so I'm gonna click connect and it's gonna tell you to type this code in kind of like the iPad did into the keyboard. So, Five, your code will probably be different. And then I just clicked it and clicked enter. So we're gonna connect, give it a second, continue. And it says to press that button immediately to the right of the shift button. There's two shift buttons, the outside one, there's nothing to the right and this one. So we're gonna click this. Just click it once, follow the instructions. Okay, now we're gonna click the button to the left of the shift. Again, there's two shift keys. There's nothing to the left from this side. So here we're gonna click that. All right, uh, we're gonna go with the US one, done. Now it's connected and to give you guys proof, I'm gonna type random stuff into here and you can see I'm typing here and it's working and the computer doesn't like me now. All right.